Jane Morton Norton, the, uh, the artist and writer and philanthropist who endowed the Norton Center, uh, commissioned a, a statue of Daniel Boone that still uh, is exhibited in the Norton Center. And she wanted him looking out at Sinking Spring. When the town was founded, it was founded around the spring. And in particular, the Presbyterian Church was planted by David Rice on the hill above the spring. And since the college grows out of the church, I think the church's location really determined the college's location on the other side of the spring. It clearly was the reason that people settled here. You have to settle around water. The college uh, located here surely had something to do with its juxtaposition with the spring. The center was founded in 1819, but the story really goes back to the founding of Transylvania in 1780. And Transylvania was founded here in Danville by Father David Rice, who was the pastor of the Presbyterian Church. After a few years, Lexington was significantly bigger than Danville, so the college moved there. And the Presbyterian Church maintained a relationship with it, but there was always a tension between the Enlightenment types versus the church people. So several times, Transy cut its ties with the church, and the church, the Presbyterian Church, then started counter-institutions. Most great things start over a drink. And probably Center College started in the tavern. In Mrs. Davenport's tavern, which was downtown Danville, on the third floor, there was a meeting. This was after the charter was granted by the state legislature. There was a meeting of about a dozen people, the likes of whom were Isaac Shelby, Dr. Ephraim McDowell, the surgeon, and they formed Center College in that tavern in uh, February, I believe, of 1819. It was a small band of people that decided there needed to be a college in the center of the state, and thus our name. There are campus legends that were the geographic center of Kentucky, and so that's why we got the name. It is geographic. On February 9th, 1819, just less than three weeks after Center's charter was granted by the state legislature, the legislature granted charters to three other colleges in Kentucky. Uh, one of them was the Southern College of Kentucky, which was to be in Bowling Green. Another one was the Western College of Kentucky, which was to be in Hopkinsville. And so this must have seemed to Kentuckians at, at the time a logical way to name the colleges. One in the center, one in the south, one in the west. Before the creation of the Federal Reserve, there were periodic panics, and there was no insurance, there was no backup for it. So in 1819, when the college was founded, um, there was a relatively minor financial panic, which meant it was hard to raise money. And so we really limped along through the 20s. 10 years after it opened in 1830, um, it was said that uh, Center College was without students, without reputation, and without endowment. So we were at a crucial moment in 1830 when we really had to have someone strong who could lead the college for a while, and we were blessed to find John C. Young. And he um, built up the college really from a struggling three or four students graduating a year institution to a solid one, which then survived the Civil War, which many, many of our uh, competitors did not. Center is un best understood as a centrist institution. We have not been an extremely progressive institution in the political sense, but we have also not been a reactionary institution as many other colleges have been. And I think that's an honorable heritage and fits with our identity. The things that we think about now of being Center College, the founders could have had no possible expectation that we would become what we have become. You know, we owe them a great debt. They, they did not imagine the institution that we now have in play, uh, that it would be recognized in the way that it is across this nation and the world as a premier place to receive an undergraduate education, but they would be immensely proud.